Hello everybody, how are you? How's everything? Today we will take a lesson 11 3, use line plots to solve problems. And as we took before, 11 2, that is about uh, line plots. And as we know, the line plots has a title above the line number line and has a unit below the number line. Let's watch the video. How can you use line plots to solve problems involving fractions? Think about this question during the lesson. Alma and Ben are filling water balloons. The line plots show the weights of their water balloons. Who filled more water balloons? How many more? How much heavier was Alma's heaviest water balloon than Ben's heaviest water balloon? You can find the information you need by reading the line plots. Okay, as we know, how many more means we should do minus. So, uh, who filled more water balloons? Uh, we will count them then to see who uh, filled more. And how many more? By how many more we should subtract both of them to know how many more. And how much heavier was Alma's heaviest water balloon than the Ben's heaviest water balloon? So e either here we will subtract to know how much uh, Alma's heaviest water balloon than Ben's heaviest water balloon. How can you tell how many water balloons Alma and Ben each filled? You can count the number of dots on each line plot. Who filled more water balloons? How many more? Do you need all of the data on the line plots to answer? Explain. Yes, you need to know the number of water balloons Alma and Ben each filled. Let's try. Drag the dots from the line plots onto the mats to count the number of water balloons Alma and Ben each filled. Okay, let's start to put the plots from the number line to the box to see how many water balloons each one did. As we can see, Alma's water balloons are 20 and Ben's water balloons are 15. Each dot in the line plots represents one water balloon. Alma filled 20 water balloons. Ben filled 15 water balloons. 20 minus 15 equals 5. Alma filled 5 more water balloons than Ben. How much heavier was Alma's heaviest water balloon than Ben's heaviest water balloon? Do you need all of the data on the line plots to answer? Explain. In this question, I don't need all the plots, the line plots, the data. I don't need all the data on the line plots. So I need only the heaviest weight of water balloons of Alma and of Benz. So here, the mo uh, here the Alma's heaviest water. has two in two to over eight pounds and in Ben's water balloons has four in two one over eight not two two over eight no four in two one over eight so here we have four here we have two so do you need all the data no we don't need so how much heavier Alma's than Alma's heaviest water balloon than Ben's heaviest water balloon are, let's see. No, you only need the weight of the heaviest water balloon Alma and Ben each filled. How can you find the weight of the heaviest water balloon Alma filled?
The weight of the heaviest water balloon Alma filled is 2 to over 8. The dot farthest to the right on each line plot represents the heaviest water balloon. So Alma's heaviest water balloon was 2 and 2 eighths pounds. Ben's heaviest water balloon was 2 and 1 eighth pounds. Subtract. 2 and 2 eighths minus 2 and 1 eighth equals 1 eighth. Why does... So here we should sub first subtract the fraction 2 over 8 minus 1 over 8 equal 1 over 8 and 2 minus 2 equals 0. So the answer 1 over 8. 2 and 2 eighths minus 2 and 1 eighth equal 1 eighth. Because 2 minus 2 equals 0. And 2 eighths minus 1 eighths equals the quantity 2 minus 1 over 8 equals 1 eighth. So Alma's heaviest water balloon was 1 eighth pound heavier than Ben's heaviest water balloon. Now you know how to use line plots to solve problems involving fractions. Okay, let's move to the questions of this example. In question number two and three, use the example on the la on the previous page. Who filled more water balloons over two pounds? Let's look to the line plots of Alma's and pen. Over two pounds. Okay, weights of Alma's water balloons over two pounds has two, while weights of Penn's water balloons over two pounds has four. Who filled more water balloons over two pounds? Ben. Who filled more water balloons less than one four over eight pounds? We shouldn't put one four over eight with them because less than one four over eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. While Ben's water balloons less than one four over eight, we have zero. So who filled more? Alma. In question number four to five, use the line plot at the right. What is the difference in height between the tallest and the shortest patients? The tallest is six and the shortest four, one over four. What is the difference means we should use minus. So six minus Minus four, one over two. As we know, we should start with the fraction, but here I do not, I don't have a fraction, so I will take from the whole one. It will become five, and I will put one as a fraction. And to put one as a fraction should be the numerator and denominator the same. What will be the number? I will see the second line, the second fraction, which is out of four. So I will put it as four over four. So five, four over four minus four, one over four. Now I can start uh, subtracting, subtracting from the fraction. Four over four minus one over four equal three over four. Five minus one, uh, sorry, five minus four equal one, three over four feet. Oscar says five feet is the most common height. Dr. Shen measured. Do you agree? Explain. So uh, Oscar says five feet is the most. As we can see here on the number, on the line plot, that the most common is five, two over four. So do you agree? No. Five, two over four has the most feet. 5, 2 over 4 feet has the most common height.
which of the following statements are true select or that apply in question 9 and 10 we will use this line plot the first one most of the players are six feet or taller as we can see the most of the players are six feet or taller this is correct here we have four the outlier is five and a half feet as we know that five and a half which is equivalent to five six over twelve because six over twelve is equivalent to one over two so but there is no player that has an uh, that has a height five six over twelve or five and a half feet so this is not correct the third one the combined height of the two tallest players is 12 8 over 12 feet the two highest players have height 6 3 over 12 and 6 this is 6 5 over 12 because it comes before 6 6 over 12 but 6 5 over 12 the combined means we should add them so it's correct both of them are 12 8 over 12 feet the difference between the tallest and the shortest player is 7 over 12 feet. Let's see the tallest, 6, 5 over 12, as we know. And the shortest has 5, 10 over 12. The difference means I should subtract. So 6, 5 over 12 minus 5, 10 over 12. First of all, I subtract the fractions. But here, 5 over 12 minus 10 over 12, I cannot do it because 5 is less. So I will take 1 from the whole. The 6 will become 5. And the one that I took it, I will add it to the fraction as 12 over 12. As we know that the 1 should be the numerator and denominator the same. So I will add this here. It will become what? 12 over 12 plus 5 over 12, 17 over 12, and the whole number 5, minus 5, 10 over 12. Now I can subtract the fraction of 7 over 12. It's correct. All of the above? No, it's not all of the above. Question number 10. Which of the following fractions describe the portion of the basketball players that are 6 feet tall? Use equivalent fractions, select or that apply. Okay. Here, the portion means a part of the whole. So here we will check and see the equivalent fractions that we have. For example, the first one, one over four, if we, we want to get an equivalent fraction for one over four, we should multiply or divide by a same number in the numerator and denominator. One over four times two in the numerator and times two in the denominator. So I will have two over eight. I don't have two over eight in the choices. Uh, if I want to multiply 1 over 4 by 3 in the numerator and by 3 in the denominator, I will have 3 over 12 and I don't have 3 over 12 in the choices. If I want to, uh, I want to multiply it by 4, it will become 4 over 16. I don't have. So the most uh, denominator, I have it out of 12. Let's move uh, to the 1 over 3. If I multiply it by 2, it will become 2. So 1 times 2 equals 2, and 3 times 2 equals 6. So I will have 1 over 3 and 2 over 6 equivalent. If I also multiply 1 over 3 by 3 up and down in the numerator and denominator, I will have 3 over 9, which, with the, which I don't have 3 over 9. If I want to multiply 1 over 3 by 4 in the numerator and denominator, I will have 4 over 12. So 4 over 12 are, so all of these three are equivalent. So 5 over 12, what if I want to multiply 1 over 3 by 5 in the numerator and denominator, I will have 5 over 15, not 5 over 2. So the only equivalent fractions are, and or the portions, 1 over 3, 2 over 6, and 4 over 12.